it's Alicia from My Work Basket. Uh, it's kind of a lazy Sunday here today, and I was thinking about kind of what I should do. And my website, myworkbasket.com, has been very yarn related. Um, I've done a lot of knitting patterns, a lot of crochet patterns, crochet tutorials, you know. The thing is, I do a lot more crafts than that. Um, I've kind of been stuck on like doing that on my website. I do want to start mixing in more stuff. And so I was like, you know what? Let's go to the craft store. So I decided to spend some of my lazy Sunday going to the craft store today. I happened to pick Michael's. Um, I'm in a convenient location where most of the major craft stores are actually near me. Um, and this was just where I happened to go today. And I was hoping maybe I'd find like a card kit or something to just kind of do and show you and to show my website. And I decided, because I bought quite a bit of stuff, to show you what I got today and let you kind of live vicariously through me. There's quite a variety. Um, so one thing I did today was I said no yarn. And for the first time in probably my life, I followed it. I did not buy any yarn today. Um, I could probably fill a very small bathroom with the amount of yarn I already own. So it is for the best. However, from the yarn department, I did find this peg loom, uh, which according to their website is on sale. Now I found this one hanging on a random hook and couldn't find any more in the store itself. So I had to go online to look up the price to decide if I was even going to get it. And I decided to get it because on well, mine it was marked on clearance and this was the only one I could find in the store. I have done peg looms before, usually having made my own with like dowels and things. And even though this was on clearance, there are other peg looms. So you'll be seeing this on my website and Instagram and probably a video of it and all that stuff coming up soon. That's the only thing from the whole yarn department. So that's kind of exciting. Other than that, I also got this pop it craft kit you make many creations with clay i'm guessing the clay is very similar to a model magic it's kind of a kid's kit and i'm hoping my son and i can do this together and have some fun with it so i got the pop it bakery which includes like a little cupcake stand and takeout box and then i also got the pop it bunny kit which i thought looked pretty cute so you'll be seeing a video of us playing around and doing those I also, I spent the majority of my time over in the scrapbook section, um, which was kind of my intention. Now, I don't know if you've been to the craft store recently, but most of the scrapbook and paper craft section seems to kind of be devoted to planners right now, which I do kind of an artsy planner, but I didn't want any stuff for that. So <laughs> I got some other stuff. So what I did get was... I just grabbed this because it was on clearance. It's a set of accordion cards and envelopes, and these are like pennant shaped. I also got the same thing, but they're just kind of a different, I don't know if you can see, they're like the cutout style. So I got a pack of those. That's just because they were on super clearance, and I can't pass up something on super clearance. It's not how I do things. Um, one of my most expensive purchases today was the gelato i believe it's pronounced gelatos i could be mistaken um don't laugh at me if i'm saying it wrong i got the gelatos design kit um i will absolutely be doing a video of this most likely two videos one with a box opening and then another one was kind of messing around and showing you how they work the kit was 25 dollars. however this is my coupon item for the day so i paid about 14 dollars, i think and in here are it says there's an eight page swatch journal, 10 colors, a little thing of gesso, a stamp, a stencil, a binder, a drip dropper, a misting bottle, a paintbrush, and a 22 page illustrated design guide. So I'll be having some fun trying some stuff with this and talking to you guys about that. And then I got some cardstock. Now I got two sheets of this green 12 by 12 because I, I don't need a lot of cardstock. I have a good bit, but they had this color pack that I really liked called Paper Flowers, and it includes some gold, orange, pink, and two shades of blue. Then there was another pack of very similar colors I liked, but it also included green. So I just got two separate sheets of green and this pack, and I think they'll also look really well with the gelatos, and I'll have some different projects coming with that. 
I also got some chalkboard tags to kind of play around with those things and have some fun with. And also this little tube of heavy body acrylic. It's an ultra chalk in a blue that matches some of the other items I had in my cart. Now I tend to be one of those people who like, first I put a bunch of stuff in my cart. Then I like take a bunch of that stuff out and put it back on the shelves. And then I get a bunch of different stuff. Although I am always very good about putting it back where it belongs. I've worked in the craft store. So, um, so that was something that I got. It matched a bunch of stuff, it matches my paper, matches the gelatos. And I just thought it'd be kind of fun to mess around with and see what it is. I also got some oil pastels, which this was actually on my list. Um, we were doing a homeschool project the other day and I found out we didn't have any in our homeschool art stuff. And I went there with that in mind. These were in the clearance section. So I got them hoping they're good. Um, sometimes cheap oil pastels are not good. Uh, when you use oil pastels, you want them to really be kind of creamy. And sometimes the cheaper ones are more waxy, like a crayon. So I'm hoping those are still good. And then because they were on clearance too, I got a pack of soft pastels to match. Again, you guys, I hit a clearance spot hard. I'm not going to lie. So this bottle kit was also in there. And it's supposed to contain four bottles, sand, tags, twine, beads, and stickers. And it was on super clearance. So I got that. And then outside of the um, scrapbook section, I went over to jewelry making and I got a ball peen hammer. Now I do have a ball peen hammer and other hammers already, but the reason I got this is because I got this aluminum bracelet kit. Um, someone recently gave me several of the sets of stamps that you can use for metal and so i wanted to get something that i knew would work with them to try them out um, and i picked this bracelet set and i also got this little pack of tags and because i tend to kind of craft at weird times i didn't want to be in the middle of a project with my existing ball peen hammer i find out it didn't work so i just got this little guy in the jewelry section it should work it does feel a lot lighter weight than the other one that i have and so you'll be seeing me use the metal stamps and this bracelet bending bar kit. I'll be doing a video of that. Um, it includes seven bracelets and the folding bar. And then you can get replacement packs of just the bracelets. And then I don't know if you can see these little tags. They're just little dog tag shapes. So I'll be playing around with some metal stamping and metal embossing and all. And I also got, and I don't know, this is all for fun to try. I got these metal embossing plates. Um, I'm not sure if they'll work with the bracelet kits or not. That's one of the things I'm going to have to kind of play around with and find out about and show you. But there's just a couple plates in here of metal embossing plates that you hammer and emboss your metal. So that's what I got. I'm pretty sure that's everything. And I was going to show you. And so now you have a sneak peek of what will be coming up in some of my videos and on my website. And you get to live a little vicariously and see some new art stuff without you having to spend your own money on it. So thanks for watching. Again, it's Alicia from My Work Basket. And I'll see you later. Have a great day.